Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'll be showing you part 9 of the crochet along around the bases. This is designed by Chi Chi Ellen from Kato Palette. I'll be taking you step by step through making these flower petals. I'll be using a 3.5mm crochet hook and the yarn I'm using is Linen Soft Yarn by Scheepjes. So I'll take you step by step through the pattern also post a link on where you can find both the English and the Dutch translation of this pattern. I hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. So before we start the first round it's important to quickly note your stitch count because that determines the route you're going to be following this week. If you have a multiple of 6 plus 1 stitches, so for example you have 122 or 133, 145, you're going to skip round 37 and only do round 38 so do take note of this if you do have a multiple of 6 minus 1 for example 101 125 137 you are going to do round 37 so do take note round 37 is not for everyone only for half of you the other half you're only going to start from round 38 so count your stitches I am going to count, show you round 37 but do note it's not for everyone only if you have a multiple of 6 minus 1 if you have a multiple of 6 plus 1 you're going to skip round 37 so take note round 37 so this round is only if you have a multiple of 6 minus 2 stitches for example 125 137, 149, 161 stitches for example this, otherwise you're going to skip this round we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space with a standing single crochet chain 2 1 2 and in the same corner space make a second single crochet now in each and every stitch you're going to work a single crochet especially be mindful of the first one this is your first single crochet so work a single crochet on each and every stitch when you get to the corner you can work a single crochet chain 2 single crochet Continue like this, go all the way around and close with a slip stitch in the first standing single crochet. If you're like me, I have a multiple of 6 plus um, 1 stitch, so I do not need to work round 37, which means I'm going to be skipping this round. For me, I just showed you how to make this round. I am going to it out because I do not need this round I'm only going to start at round 38 so do keep in mind do not get suddenly confused when you see that I didn't work this first round then you know why round 38 this round is for everyone so no matter whether or not you did work the previous round everyone's going to be working this round Start in the corner space, in your chain 2 corner space, with a standing double crochet if you're using a new color yarn, otherwise you might want to use a chain 3. Chain 3 and then a second double crochet, oops, so there we go, in the same corner space, like so. On the very first stitch, which is going to be that stitch there, work a single crochet. Be sure not to accidentally skip this stitch because it could be hidden by your corner. So that's your very first stitch there. Work a single crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat unit, making flower petals. So skip one, two stitches, so these next two stitches and this stitch is the one you're going to be working in. 1, 2, skip and in this stitch you're going to be making 5 double crochets that's the first one 
two, three, four, five, double crochets. Again, skip two stitches, so one, two stitches, and work a single crochet on the third, like so. And that there, this here is your repeat unit. You're going to repeat this until you get to the other side, so to your next corner. I'm going to show you the entire repeat unit one more time. So skip one, two stitches, and then on the third stitch, work a single crochet, sorry, a double crochet. It's one. I'm going to work five double crochets on the one stitch. That's two. Three, four, five double crochets, and then again skip one, two stitches, and work a single crochet on the third, like so. So now I've made two repeat units. So this you're going to repeat until you get to the other side, and then I'll just show you how to go around the corner. So we're almost to the corner, just to show you the last repeat. Just did a single crochet in this stitch, that's the end of the last repeat. Skip two stitches, and then next stitch work a double crochet, which is the first of five double crochets. And that's three, four, Five double crochets, skip one, two stitches, and at this point you should have one stitch left before the corner. Make a single crochet on that last stitch. And you're going to have a number of flower petals here, and the amount of petals you have is equal to your multiple. For example, if your multiple is 20, for example, 6 times 20, plus or minus 1, which you had at the beginning of this part, you'll have 20 of these flower petals. So it's just a check for you. So we're going to go to the corner, which is, let me just get a bit more yarn, a double crochet in the corner space, like one double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. And then you're at the beginning of your next repeat again. I'll just quickly get you started. Start with a single crochet on that first stitch. It's going to be that stitch there. That first stitch. Make a single crochet. And then start the repeat unit again, which is skip one, two stitches. And this is in the first of five double crochets work it in that third stitch. You can see two stitches in between there. That's one, two, three, four, five stitches and again skip one, two stitches and work a single crochet. That's your repeat unit. You're going to make again all of these until you get to the other side and then again work that last single crochet, work your corner, a single crochet and again the flower petals. Continue like this, go all the way around and close with a slip stitch in the first standing single crochet. So that's the equivalent of this stitch on your first corner. Round 39 a new color yarn on my hook. I'm going to start in any corner space. If you're using the same color yarn, you chain into the corner. I'm going to start with a standing double crochet, which is the beginning of my first corner. Chain three, one, two, three, 
and then again a double crochet in that corner space and that's your first corner made now we're going to be making cross stitches and for that we're only going to be working in the first the third and the fifth double crochet on the petals that we made in the previous round so only stitch one three and five I'm going to take you step by step the first one is slightly different because you have the corner here we're going to start by making a double crochet in the first double crochet of this fan that means we're skipping these two stitches here and working in this first double crochet we're making a double crochet on that stitch like so chain one and now you're going to come back to the first stitch that's this stitch here so you're going to make a cross here so yarn over coming back to that first stitch from the, so you go, I'm working from the front pick up your yarn at the back and bring it up and make a double crochet and then that completes a cross stitch there now we're going to be making more of these cross stitches Foot and in between single crochets on the top of the flower petals chain one and in the first flower petal on double crochet number three so this is the top of the petal make a single crochet on that top stitch chain one and now we're going to make the next cross so a double crochet in the first double crochet of the next flower petal so I'm skipping everything here in between and make a double crochet again chain one and now we're going to come back to the last double crochet from the previous petal so this is double crochet number five here and we're going to work across in that stitch so yarn over from the front in double that last double crochet pick up your yarn from the back and bring it to the front see I'm slightly loosening up this loop and make one two oops there we go and make that double crochet and then that is your next cross stitch made chain one and then again on the top of the next flower of this flower petal on the single a single crochet in the third double crochet and this you're going to repeat until you get to the other side and then of course your last one is going to again be slightly different because you're going just on the corner I'll show you this repeat a few more times just move everything a little bit because I don't know about you but my project is getting slightly bigger chain one yarn over a double crochet in the first flower double crochet of the next petal chain one and then come back on the last double crochet from the previous petal open up your loop slightly and work a double crochet and you'll see that you might just have to fold these crosses slightly into place chain one and again a single crochet on the top of the next ped petal which is the third double crochet and that's a next repeat unit completed I'll show you one more time chain one on the fifth on the first double crochet sorry work a double crochet chain one come back to the fifth double crochet of the previous pedal open up your loop work a double crochet chain one and then 
on top of the pedal. Oh, sorry, I'm slightly out of view. On top of the pedal, work a single crochet. This you're going to repeat until you get to the other side, and then I'll show you how to go around the corner. So we're almost to the corner. I'd just like to show you the last bits before we go around the corner. Just done the last full repeat. So here's that single crochet on top of the last flower petal. Now we need to make a cross over here again. So that's chain one. Make a double crochet on the last double crochet of this row. This is the um, double crochet from the corner of the previous round. So make a double crochet on that stitch. Like so chain one and now make a double crochet again on the foot on the last double crochet of the previous pedal and we're again going to cross over here so in front of the stitch pick up the loop from the back bring slightly up and work a double crochet and then that's your last cross stitch made it's going to turn my work and then you're ready for the corner which is going to be exactly the same as you've done before. So this is a double crochet in the corner space. Chain three, one, two, three, and work another double crochet, like so. And then you're ready for your first repeat again. I'll just quickly get you started because then you're going to do this all the way around. So the first cross is again slightly different. Starting with a double crochet on that first double crochet here. It's this one here. First double crochet of the fan. Work a double crochet. Chain one. And then come back. And on the first double crochet of this round, so this is again double crochet the corner double crochet just like we did on the this here we're going to do the same there on the corner stitch work a double crochet bring it slightly up like so chain one and on top of the pedal make a single crochet that's your first cross combination made and then you're ready for the entire repeat on your next edge. I'll show you one more repeat. Chain one. On the first double crochet from the next pedal, work a double crochet. Chain one. Come back. And on the last flower petal, or the last double crochet from the previous flower petal, I should say. Again, work a double crochet from the front. So you're picking up the yarn from the back work a double crochet and then on top of the next pedal sorry chain one don't, for, don't forget those chain ones they're easy to forget and then work a single crochet if you forget these chain ones it's going to become very tight and your work's going to um, do this so do make sure that you remember those chain ones in between your crosses well continue like this go all the way around and when you get to the corner, when you get to the first corner, close with a slip stitch. Round 14. This round I'm using the same color yarn, so I've not cut off. I'm on the last, on the first stitch here, I've just closed with a slip stitch. So I'm going to go into the corner with another slip stitch. The corner stitch is a double crochet, chain 3 double crochet. I'm just going to open up a little bit to make a standing double crochet. Like so. Chain three. One, two, three. And then another double crochet in the same corner space. Now we're again going to be making petals. The first stitch again a single crochet so this is very similar to what we've done before here 
on um, in round 38 I believe on the first stitch that's that's your previous corner stitch work a single crochet like so now we're going to be working flower petals in the chain space that's in between the crosses so I'm just going to open it up so in this space here you're going to be working your flower petals so in that space the chain one space in between your crosses you're going to work five double crochets so one <clears throat> Sorry, four and five. My voice seems to be failing me, so sorry. Five, and then on the single crochet that's on top of the previous petal, you again work a single crochet, and that's your flower petal made. You're going to continue like this on all the crosses. So for the next cross, again in the center work five double crochets and two three you get some more yarn three four and five double crochets and then on the next single crochet work again another single crochet now you see you've made two flower petals Continue like this make five double crochets in the cross um, chain one space of the cross and then work a single crochet on the next single crochet that's already on top of the petals so continue like this and I'll just show you how to go around the corner we're almost to the other side I just need to make one last repeat you should have exactly enough stitches left to make one more fan so in the V stitch in the crossover stitch here I should say make again five double crochets and two three double crochets four, five and on the last stitch which is the double crochet that belongs to the previous corner make a single crochet like so and then you're all done on this edge and you're ready to do exactly the same on the next so for the corner is a double crochet in the corner space chain three and then another double crochet in the same corner space Let me just turn my work which does not always go as smoothly as you would like because my project is really getting bigger yes there we go and now you're ready to do exactly the same on this edge as you've done on this edge so I'll just quickly get you started on the first stitch, that's this set double crochet, work a single crochet in the um, cross, in the chain one space of the cross, work five double crochets. So one, two, Three, four, and five double crochets and on the next stitch it's going to be this single crochet again work a single crochet and now you've made the first flower petal on your next edge again five double crochets in the next um, chain one space of the cross and work a single crochet on the single crochet from the previous round.
continue like this on the entire edge and when you get to the corner make your corner space a double crochet chain three double crochet go all the way around close with a slip stitch in your first standing double crochet or your chain three Round 41, we're now actually going to be doing exactly the same as we've done the previous two rounds. So round 39 and 40, we're going to repeat this one more time. So we're going to make another set of um, shells. They're well, not shells, but uh, flower petals. New color yarn on my hook. I'm going to start in the corner space and with a standing double crochet. Using the same color use a chain three also standing double crochet chain three and a second double crochet in the same corner space now we're ready to start working the um, crosses again so it's exactly the same as these crosses here double crochet in the first of these five double crochets from the first flower petal to make a double crochet in there so I'm skipping these first two stitches I'm going to go slightly faster in this round than I did in the previous one because you've seen all of this before so double crochet in that first stitch of the uh, petal chain one and then come back to the very first double crochet that's from the previous corner very first stitch come back from the front pick up the loop to the back slightly pull it up and work a sing a double crochet that's your first cross made chain one then on the top of the pedal so in double crochet number three work a single crochet like so chain one then on the next flower petal, work a double crochet on the corner. Chain one and come to the back to the last flower petal and then double crochet number five, work a double crochet. Come slightly up work a double crochet chain one and again on top of the flower petal single crochet that's your second cross made here so this is your repeat unit you going to do this until you get to the other side show you once more chain one in the first double crochet of the next petal work a double crochet chain one come back and in the fifth double crochet so that's just the last one of the previous petal work another double crochet chain one and then on the next petal in the third double crochet work a single crochet now you've done, made three of these crosses continue like this repeat this unit until you get to the core so almost to the corner I'm going to make the last cross I'm going to work in the stitch that um, is the double crochet that made the previous corner but I already have a slip stitch join in here from the previous round so this is going to be a slightly tight stitch to get into so you're making the last cross on that first leg on the double crochet before the corner so I'm just going to go into that stitch it already contains a slip stitch so that is a slightly tighter stitch I'm oh, sorry that's a half double crochet that's not right sorry they work a double crochet chain one and then come back to the first um, two stitches back so this is a, the fifth stitch on the previous petal that last double crochet work a double crochet in there as well from the front slightly open up and work a double crochet that's your last cross made then on the corner work a double crochet chain three and another double crochet 
and then you're all ready to start your next edge again. So continue like this, on this edge work all your crosses as well. And when you get to the beginning close with a slip stitch in that first standing double crochet. I'm going to use the same yarn for the next round also so I'm not going to cut off. Round 42, I'm going to use the same color yarn so I still have not uh, cut off. I'm in the last stitch here on that standing double crochet from the previous round. So I'm just going to go with a slip stitch into the corner space and now start with a standing double crochet. So just slightly open it up, bring up that loop like so. Chain three, one, two, three, and then another double crochet in the same corner space. That's your next corner made. Now we're again making flower petals in the first single crochet, or in the first double crochet I should say. Work a single crochet like so. In the crossover space we're going to work five double crochets. So in this chain one space here work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And on the single crochet here, work a single crochet. This is your repeat unit the five double crochets and the single crochet. So on the next space it's going to be this one here also again in the crossover in that space work five double crochets and then work a single crochet on the next single crochet. Hence again making a flower petal on each and every cross stitch that you have. Continue like this until you get to the other side. It will again exactly match out that your last single crochet will be on that last double crochet before the corner grab my corner from the other side so your last double crochet will be on single crochet will be on this stitch here your last single crochet and then in the corner again work a double crochet chain three double crochet so then you're going to do exactly the same as you did on round 40 um 40 you're going to do now for round 42 so go all the way around and close with a slip stitch on your first um, standing double crochet or chain three if you did a chain three and then I just like to quickly have a, a word on how your stitch counts are for this week when you've completed all your flower petals you'll have added three rows of petals this week just a note on your stitch counts if you add all your stitches together you'll have either added 14 or 16 stitches this week if you had to do that first round, if you had um, a multiple of 6 minus 1, you'll have added 16 stitches. If you did not do that first round, you'll have added 14 stitches. So I added 14 stitches this week. This brings us to the end of part 9. I want to thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.